We're asked to find the exact value of the expression. We have sine of two times inverse cosine of negative three-fifths. The first thing to recognize here is that inverse cosine of negative three-fifths is equal to an angle theta where the cosine function value is equal to the input into the inverse cosine function and the angle theta is in the closed interval from zero degrees to 180 degrees. So in our case, the angle theta has a cosine function value of negative three-fifths. And because inverse cosine of negative three-fifths is equal to the angle theta, we can write the given expression as sine two theta. And now for the next step, we will model the angle theta on the coordinate plane and then sketch the reference triangle. Because the cosine function value is negative three-fifths, we know the angle theta must be in the second quadrant. So let's sketch the angle theta in the second quadrant. Let's say the angle theta is here. And now let's sketch the reference triangle. Because the cosine function value of the angle theta is negative three-fifths, negative three-fifths is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. And we know the hypotenuse is always positive, and therefore we can label the adjacent side negative three and the hypotenuse five. And this should make sense because notice x is negative in the second quadrant. And now let's determine the length of the opposite side of the reference triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. We might recognize this is going to be a three, four, five reference triangle, and therefore the opposite side has a length of four units. But let's go ahead and verify this using the Pythagorean theorem. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem in the form of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And let's let a equal the unknown length, which gives us a squared plus b is equal to negative three, giving us the square of negative three equals c squared, which is the square of five. Simplifying, we have a squared plus nine equals 25. To solve for a squared, we subtract nine on both sides. 25 minus nine is 16, giving us a squared is equal to 16. And now we take the square root of both sides of the equation to solve for a. Algebraically, there's going to be a positive and negative solution. Simplifying, we have a is equal to plus or minus four. But we are in the second quadrant where y is positive, and therefore we know a is positive four. Now that we have the reference triangle, we can use the reference triangle and a double angle identity for sine to evaluate sine two theta. Since sine two a is equal to two times sine a times cosine a, we know that sine two theta is equal to two times sine theta times cosine theta, which gives us two times sine theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse which gives us four fifths times cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which we know from the given is equal to negative three fifths. If we want, we can write two as a fraction with the denominator of one. Multiplying the numerator, so we have two times four times negative three, which is negative 24. Multiplying the denominators, we have five times five, which is 25. The given expression is equal to negative 24 25ths. I hope you found this helpful.